Narrative Essay Writing Guide. My name is Sir Toothington. I'm from Essay Shark. That's our website that provides students with writing guides, free essay samples, and interesting topic suggestions. Today, I'll prove to you that writing a narrative essay can be awesome, not awful. Okay? After watching this video, you will learn how to use your creative potential fully in a narrative essay writing. And then you'll know how to differentiate a narrative essay from a descriptive essay and find out how to tell a remarkable story. The main purpose of each narrative essay is to tell a story. You may inform the reader about a remarkable event from your past, a meeting with a memorable personality, or the ongoing experience that is likely to change your life. Actually, it does not really matter what you are going to tell as how you will tell it is significantly more important. The narration is a complete story that has its purpose, beginning logical connections between the events, clear point of view, the presence of the author's personality, and a concise organization of the thought. Let's have a look at how to write the introduction for your essay. Firstly, use the hook. This element is also called an extraordinary beginning, and using it in a narrative essay is especially important. You may begin your story with a paradoxical fact, relevant quotation, definition, question, or a colorful detail, you name it. The main purpose of the hook is to grab the attention of your reader from the very beginning of the story. Don't forget to set the scene, by the way, and a wide range of visual, acoustic, and tactile details. In a narrative essay, it is critically important to set the scene properly. That is, explain where the events take place, who are the main characters, whether they are fictional or real, and so on. And finally, introduce your thesis statement. In a narrative essay, the thesis statement is significantly different from that in an expository or argumentative essay. You don't need to introduce your arguments, defend the position, or prove something. Instead, your thesis statement may serve as the beginning of the story, like it was cloudy and hazy when I started my way to the green forest, or something like that. After you've uh, hooked your reader's attention, it's time to move on to the main part of your story. To make it awesome, use the following techniques. Depict, but don't tell. It is commonly known that good storytelling is expressive. It is rich with precise descriptions and sensory details that help the audience to visualize the events illustrated by the author. Express what you heard, smelled, touched, felt, and saw during the event. Support each detail. In a personal narration, your experience represents the deepest source of evidence, which is why you should illustrate the significance of the lesson learned and explain it to the reader. Emphasize the timeline of the events. Building the storyline in a chronological order is the most appropriate so that the readers can understand the logical flow of the events. Finally, keep in touch with the readers. In narrative essays, new paragraphs usually mark the shift from the action to reflection or indicate the change in the events. That is why the paragraphs should be linked between one another with transitions. In a narrative essay, the conclusion serves as the moral center of the story as it summarizes everything you have told and provides your story with a significant sense. Due to this, at the end of the story you should include a personal reflection or evaluation of the event being described and explain why it is significant for you as the author. Let's go through these five stages and find the ways to transform your narrative essay into a polished diamond. 1. Choose the topic to share. Recreate memories from childhood, college years, or any other experiences encountered the first time. Recall the feelings and memories related to those experiences. It will help you to concentrate and pick up an attractive topic for exchange with your audience. 2. Draft an outline. Even if you simply retell a story in your essay, you should prepare an outline that should precisely indicate the plot, the setting, the main characters, the culmination, and the ending of your narration. 3. Start writing the body paragraphs. Remember that a narrative essay is not the same as any other academic paper. Due to this, you should use as many details as you can to provide complete characteristics for personalities, their actions, locations, feelings, and, uh, you know, so on. 4. Come up with a reasonable conclusion. Draw a conclusion that will show your attitude to this story. 
express its significance and help the reader to learn something from your personal experience. This is the final stage of establishing close contact with your readers, which is why you should make it extraordinary and uh, effective. 5. Prepare the paper for submission. After the last words are chosen and written properly, it is time for editing and checking your paper for grammatical and syntactical mistakes. As it does not really matter how unusual and attractive your story is if it contains a considerable amount of mistakes. Okay? Check it. Now you are armored with all the secret techniques to write a killer narrative essay, but what should you write about? No worries. Let us suggest you some topic examples to make your creative juices flowing. Like, some people hate being challenged, while others enjoying difficulties perceiving them as opportunities to grow. Tell your story about the greatest challenge and its impact on your mindset. Tell about the most fearful moment of your life and your way of overcoming this unpleasant feeling. Does fear block you or activate all the resources to find the way out of the anxiety? Why does it happen? Tell about a situation where you helped someone and made the world a better place to live in thanks to your rightful action and kindness. Tell about the life lesson you took by doing something improperly. What did you feel? What inferences did you make thanks to this experience? You can find more topics in our book, Essay Becomes Easy Part 1 on Amazon. To polish your essay into something great, here are some of the most common mistakes and tips to help avoid them. Information Overload Filter all of your thoughts and pre-plan each paragraph before writing as details are powerful and they, uh, they really matter. But overwhelming your paper with them will not bring anything positive. Telling instead of illustrating a narrative essay is not a story you tell on a day-to-day -day basis as it is creative, enthusiastic, inspiring, coherent, and illustrative. Your narration should be similar to a painting to encourage your audience to visualize the events from your text. Lazy language. This mistake will transform your extraordinary story into a plain unvarnished tale. Here's an exercise that will help you choose proper words. Highlight all the adjectives and nouns in your story and ask yourself, do these words represent the best choice in this context? If they do not, consider finding better options. Long sentences. We have already recommended you to avoid very long expressions, but it is worth it to remind yourself of this statement and emphasize its importance. Avoiding dialogue. Writers are afraid of dialogue because they feel responsible for the words put into speech. Use dialogue in your writing as it represents a powerful way to transform your writing into a comprehensive illustration. Using experience as a base material. No matter what you are writing, you should go through a transformation of some sort. Your essay will not have any value without some significant message for the readers. Remember that you should not simply retell your memories, but motivate. Encourage and make your audience feel something similar. Have you opened your essay exclusively with the help of paradoxical fact, relevant quotation, definition, question, or a colorful detail? Because if not, here's a narrative essay writing checklist, and the first point has been already mentioned. Have you set the scene properly, explaining where the events take place? who the main characters are, if they're fictional or real, and so on. Are the events you describe in body paragraphs linked properly? Have you used sufficient evidence to visualize the events being described? Have you provided the readers with sensory details and properly selected original words? Does your story contain some sort of a valuable message for the audience? Does it motivate, encourage empathy, or transform the mind of the readers? Have you avoided information overload and wordiness? Have you achieved the purpose of the writing? Thank you for your attention. Have a look at our book, Essay Becomes Easy Part 1 on Amazon for more inspiration and awesome writing advice. Or find more information about other types of papers on Essay Shark blog.